evening, everyone. We are about to drop the puck here in Buffalo, New York. It's NHL Hockey Night on the 2K Sports Network. Good evening and welcome, everyone. I'm Bob Cole, and with me is Harry Neal. We've got a great game coming up. There's no doubt that these folks love the sport of hockey. Coming to a game in this building is always an exhilarating experience. And now, your Buffalo Sabres! Duchesne sure can handle that puck. You can count on this guy to keep the puck in his own while you're on the attack. He rarely makes a mistake, and it allows him time to maneuver with that puck to set up scoring chances. We often talk about defensively getting caught flat-footed. You can be a terrific defensive player, but this guy's got so much speed, he can make even the best of them look like they've got heavy feet. They're lining up for the faceoff to start the game. This game is officially underway. Home game for the Buffalo Sabres. The coach is just going to love this if he can get this player to hit that way every night. That's offside. Schmelik skating with it now in his own. Now Joe Sacking along the boards. Fired. Nolan gets pinned against the boards. It's frozen and they blow the whistle. And now we're going to have a face-off to the left side of the net. Buffalo in their own zone. The puck now goes center. Across the blue line. And he's got a clear path. Power Chuck. Here's Sundin. He's a good stick handler. In front. Shot is blocked. Power Chuck. Here he comes. He's got a chance. He shoots. Oh, that. Now with it. Coley, this is all about positioning. He took that one right in the body. He gets it. Some great action in net tonight as we present the Copper Stopper replay brought to you by Duracell. If you want to talk about great positioning, look at this replay, Bob. He didn't have to get it with his glove or his blocker or his pads. His body was in perfect position. Harry, on a breakaway, that's not what the shooter wants to do. You've just gone to the great strength of the goaltender using his body. Yeah, how about like miss the body? And the Sabres take it away. To the... He scores! It is in the net! You can count on it! And they have taken a quick 1-0 lead to make a clear opening statement. Let's take another look at this attack, Bob. You can see the goalie preparing. He gets into a crouch here. When you don't know when or where the shot is coming from, you're at a huge disadvantage. It was a defensive breakdown. The Nordiques are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a real good feeling. for the face-off. Duchesne gets the loose puck between the two blue lines. Now Owen Nolan. One goal game, Buffalo trailing. And here come the Sabres, and he fires it. Comes away with a save. What a breakaway save. He just out-positioned him and gobbled it up with his body. Now Owen Nolan, still in his rookie year. Fjord saves it, went right into his body. We've got a moment now for tonight's Copper Stopper Replay. Brought to you by Duracell. 
We'll see it on the replay, Bob. He made the save with his body to deny the breakaway opportunity and really didn't have to move that much. And even with that said, Harry, the offensive player always looks at these as a chance to score. If you don't get it done, you can be disappointed with yourself. Fuhr will brace himself for the puck drop, which is to his right side. Young has the puck at the point. A wrist shot. Nice save. Sweeney. Here we go with Buffalo. Young skating with it now in his own zone. Ricci. And the shot. He stops it. I don't think he could have gotten there if he hadn't done the splits. He made the save with a stick. Eric, he makes the stop. It looked like he was beaten until he got that with a stick. You gotta like the way this guy plays. He just lines up his opponent and whops him. That hit the goalpost. Young pokes it away nicely. Fuhr, they blow the whistle as he covers the puck. They're trying to earn a two-goal lead here in the first period. And this one hit the left post, so it's still just by one. If not for that steadfast left post, this would not be a one-goal game anymore. It was a great scoring chance. And Adam Foote with it. Yes, saved! Over the blue line. Here's Foote. Count that one as a great save as it ricochets away off the goalie. And the face-off's coming up. Roger picks up the loose puck in his own zone. He can feed the puck, folks. And here come the Sabres. And it's handled by LaFontaine. They get it away. Center. It's a goal. He scored. Bobby was right there in front of the goal. And you've only got a second when you're there to get that shot away. And only a second he needed, Harry. Great positioning to pick out a spot. Although, with one-timers, there isn't a lot of picking out to do. Nope, you really just have to fire. I've heard a lot of great shooters say, you know, when I shoot the one-timer, I either go high or low, and that's about it. Not a bad methodology. Whatever he used on this one, it worked. The Nordiques have got themselves the two-goal lead now. Great position to be in here. We're in the first period, and they're looking very good out there on the ice tonight. Ruchinski with it. Kovalenko. To the middle. He misses the pass. Sundin in the corner with it. Sundin. Sabres coming in. He shoots. He scores! And that brings his team only one back from getting this game tied up again. Still lots of hockey to play, though. We're still in the first period. They worked for that one, Bob. Let's take another look. He went high and right with that shot off the Viva. They were relentless on that play. You could tell they were not going to give up until the puck found the back of the net. The Sabres didn't let the early two-goal deficit get to them, and they've now got the game to within one with that last goal. It's been an exciting one so far. Lots of hockey left to play here tonight. That shot hit the post. Oh, and here come the Sabres. That puck is free game. May now. The shot. Nolan. Now Saki. It's a goal! Off the left post and in the net. He just barely got the shot on goal. What do you know a poster? And a 180 degree turn in emotions for that shooter in a split second. From agony to elation. Yes, Bob, these things can give you heart palpitation. Let me tell you. All's well that ends well, though, I guess. And it's a goal. The 
Nordiques have got themselves the two-goal lead now. What an incredible position to be in, especially this early in the game. And Adam Foote with it. Center ice. Assisted by. He centers it. Shot wide to the left on that one. He's got a great eye, great stick. A good shoulder hit between the blue lines. A minute 54 left. Denied a terrific stop to shut down that man on the breakaway. He was on a breakaway during that last chance, Bob. One on one with the goalie. You can't get a better chance than that. But this time, the goalie wins out as he flat out stoned him with a pretty glove save. He sure did. It was a tough play and he made it look easy. A save like that can really boost your confidence. Face-off will be at the left of the net as the players get ready. Sackick wins the draw. Only a minute 25 on the game clock. Svoboda brings it up through the zone. We're down under a minute left. Hextall stops it. Svoboda out at the point. And that will do it for the end of the period. Three, two, one. Now brought to you by Dodge, it's time for our intermission report. Dodge, grab life. The Sabres are just getting dominated so far here tonight. Harry, why are we seeing such a discrepancy? And what do you think is the main contributing factor in their poor performance? They need to do a better job at controlling the puck when it's dropped, Bob. They are really getting beat in this area. And it shows on the scoreboard. And they're still looking to try and get back into this game. Nordiques don't have a lot to change in this game as we get going here in the second. I think the coach knows they can hang on to this lead with some solid defensive play. It's period number two, and they're getting ready to drop the puck. Ruchinski. He centers it. Fuhr with the blocker save. Fuhr, he covers the puck. The Nordiques have been unstoppable in the circle, winning draw after draw. Incredible night. Fuhr in goal, ready on the right side for the faceoff. To the point, at the point. He's in the slot. Fires too wide, left of the net. He's definitely been a target here tonight. Svoboda. And he gets called for the offside. That hits like getting hit with a freight train coming at full speed. And that's just a good, clean, hard hit. I guarantee you the guy that got hit will think twice about coming through the center zone like that. And now Joe Sake gets set for the faceoff. Foot now. Kaminsky. In front, they stop the shot. Up the left side. And the Sabres coming in. LaFontaine. Stripped away by Joe Sackett. At center ice. They get called for offside. Another faceoff about to commence here shortly. The shot was wide left as it almost did. And he scores! His team now within one goal of tying this game. Terrific use of the flip pass there, Bob. That's a great way to get the puck over the defender's stick to his score. And that's precisely what occurred here, Harry. The flip pass ended up 
being the first assist. And that's the definition of the first assist. The guy that creates the opportunity for his teammate to score. Beautifully executed. He definitely earned that assist. Creative use there to get the puck up in the air. Deflected off the defense. He's just in his first season. Passes the blue line. Take him out of the play. And that save is made. Number 10. Now the Sabres with it. Sundin's got it. Taken away by Buffalo. It's broken up. The point. The puck's loose. Kovalenko, check, behind the goal. And the Sabres pick it up. And he shoots. Sundin with beautiful stick work to break it up. In the slot, he shoots. He comes away with a save. Fuhr hangs on to that. When you're talking about Matt Sundin, you're talking about a short list of talented players in this league. He has it all. Size, skill, scoring touch, playmaking ability. He's one of the top centers in the game. Nolan. Oh, and Nolan shot a stop. Some great action in net tonight as we present the Copper Stopper replay brought to you by Duracell. Now here he uses all the weapons, Bob. The goalie goes down and does the splits and then makes a great stick save. He has down low covered, but his movement is severely limited. So in this case, he's got to reach out and make that stick save, Harry. Oh man, Coley, that's great stuff. LaFontaine takes the puck on the faceoff. And now Buffalo in their zone. The Sabres down a goal, looking to tie. In the middle. To the middle. The puck is loose. Here's Joe Sackick. And Nolan now. Fuhr makes the save. His team down a goal right now. They can't give up another one. He got in the way of that shot on the breakaway, Bob, and made the save with his body. With no help from his defense, he had to take this one completely into his own hands, and he did. Make no bones about that. That was a great play. He really took charge there, making sure the puck did not go into the net, despite the fact it was a breakaway. The linesman will drop the puck left of the net. Chuck takes control of the puck. Audette. Just like the coach wants it. Finish your check. He takes the big body check. Up. Centered. Power Chuck. Up. Gains possession in the defensive zone. Fjord makes an incredible stop, taking a shot to his body while being in the splits. And now we've got our Copper Stopper replay, brought to you by Duracell. It was a great save, Harry. What an athletic save that was, Bob. He's doing the splits and still manages to knock the puck away with his body. A nice play all around. Not all goalies can get into a position like that, let alone make a save from it. Impressive indeed. Just a super display of goaltending skills out there. No question about that. Great job of getting his glove up to catch that puck. Gusarov got the officials to blow the whistle on that play. Roughing will be the call. He really got roughed up, Bob. Let's check the replay. Oh, yeah, it was a good call. The refs saw it the whole way. The odd time you can benefit by a penalty that can spark your team, and that's just what he was doing right there. So he's gone for two. This Buffalo picks it up. Decision forces the loose puck for the push check. Two minutes for roughness. Center ice. 14 of the second period. It's hit out. Sent to the center. Sabres on their first power play. Sabres coming in. Oh. 
Svoboda controls the puck on defense. Sabres on the power play. Mogilny! Hextall, and he covers up. Sakic hit the back of the net on 37 occasions last year for his team. The Sabres continue with the power play. Sweeney snags the puck on the faceoff. Ricci has the puck through the zone. Down under two minutes now. That's a goal, and he gives his team the two-goal spread late in the second period. What a boost to end this period. Coley, this is a nice goal here on the replay. A shorthanded goal. These hurt, Harry. It was a four-on-five skating disadvantage. And the goalie, I think, bears the brunt of the breakdown defensively. The goalie always bears the brunt of a goal like this. But those shorties really hurt. Duchesne gets possession of the puck. Boy, you talk about flat. That's what he was. Foot. The penalty is over. We've got both teams now at even strength. Ricci pinning him along the glass. Another shot. Out front. And we finish the second period of play here tonight. And the score is 4-2. to two. It's time now for our intermission report. Brought to you by Dodge. The Sabres are just getting dominated so far here tonight, Harry. Why are we seeing, do you think, such a blowout? What do you think is the main contributing factor in this poor performance? They're down by a lot, and they're lucky it isn't by more with their performance on face-offs tonight. Winning the puck can be vitally important to a team's success, and this game is turning into a good example of why that's true. The Sabres are on their way out now to start the third period. And it's going to be a journey for sure if they hope to tie it up. Third period goals aren't easy to come by. Let's see how they do. And we're just about ready to start the third period of play here tonight. Huff wins the faceoff for his team. And center ice picked up by Buffalo. Sakic! His shot wide left on that one. Nobody there. Now Saki. In the neutral zone. He centers it, shoots it, but way left on that one. They stop the shot. McGilney. Sabres coming in. It's shot. It stopped. The shot deflects off the goalie. And brought to you by Duracell, our copper stopper replay. Harry, that was a nice save. You talk about having to get your focus together in a hurry. Check this replay out. In a split second, the shooter's on you with a breakaway scoring chance. You're the goaltender, and you're just going to say, hey, that's just what I did in practice. Sundin at the faceoff circle. Sakic wins the draw. The pass went nowhere. Audette. Now Buffalo into the zone. He centers it. Hextall, great save. If he lets that one go by, this game is a one-goal game. He doesn't want that to happen. Hextall hangs on to the puck. Huffman. The shot was wide left as it almost dinged off that post. Fewer play stops as the goalie covers up. The linesman is ready to set the puck down. 
The Nordiques with possession of the puck up by two. Oh, what a poke check. Good use of the stick. It is stopped. This is shot number five on goal, and he's already scored one. The goal stick to the rescue knocks that away. It hits off the crossbar. Controlled at center. Buffalo going in. No luck on that pass. And a save. Fuhr covers up after the shot. Boy, this one is the goalie's best friends at work. The shooter won't even get credit for a shot on goal because the puck bounced off the crossbar. That right-hand side had some daylight underneath the crossbar, but that's not where the puck went. And as a result, no goal. In the slot, and he shoots. Hits off the defenseman. Shot wide to the right on that one. Kovalenko. Trailing by two goals, Buffalo might be pulling their goalie at some point. They are going to need a masterful finish here. I'm not saying they don't have it in them, but they need to really test their limits to even have a ghost of a chance at a win. Hextall, play stops as he covers the puck. Hextall, braces for the faceoff near his goal. And Buffalo with it now, to the point. He shoots, misses just barely to the left. They can finish this one off with a few more minutes of play. Only a total brain cramp on defense will lose this one for him. Oh, and he gets checked hard. That hit is our Dodge Nitro hit of the game, folks. Fuhr able to grab it with the glove. Fuhr hangs on. And getting ready for the faceoff now, Joe Sackick. Power Chuck grabs the puck on the faceoff. Audette. Deshane grabs the puck in the neutral zone. And he's open. Concentrated on the play. The save is made. It bounces off the goalie. Fuhr, he covers the puck. Audette has put two goals on the scoreboard here tonight. Fuhr in net, ready for the faceoff to his left. And Buffalo wins the draw in their zone. Now Owen Nolan. Taken away by Buffalo. Fed out from the corner. Here's May. Center ice. He scores! It's a third period goal that puts them up by three and makes this game pretty much over. I like this play in traffic. Take a look at the replay of the wrist shot goal. He knew that trouble was going to arrive sooner or later, and he just got the shot off before anybody got there defensively. And that's why the wrist shot came into existence, Harry. We forget olden times, that's where most of the shots were taken. We don't see many nowadays, but when we do, the wrist shot is tailor-made. And Adam Foote with it. The Sabres turn it over. Fuhr decides to hang on to it. The officials got the puck in hand, and he's ready to start things up again. Huffman collects the puck in the neutral zone. Finn. Ruchinski. Sundin's got it. The shot by Wojcinski is turned away. Buffalo going in. Huffman. In front. Count that one as a great save as it ricochets away off the goalie. Fuhr, he covers the puck and will have a faceoff. Here's a replay, Bob, of that awesome save. He denies a big scoring opportunity here. Amazing stop, Harry. That's one opportunity taken away by great goaltending. A beautiful stop. Here comes the faceoff to start the action again. Ricci along the boards with the puck. Two minutes left in the period. 
Ledyard brings the puck up through the zone under two minutes now in the period. Behind the net, Young gets pinned against the glass. Throwing an elbow will get... It definitely looks like he got an elbow in there on that one. Well, you could have your elbows up a little bit, but not that high and get away with it. Huh. And the decision the ref made was, hey, buddy, you're going to the box in that one. A minute and two seconds to go. Shot has a shot sail wide to the right. For elbow, time the penalty. 18. Svoboda. Buffalo moving up. Shot. Hextall with a stick save. In the splits position, he pulls off the stick save. Now here he uses all the weapons, Bob. The goalie goes down and does the splits and then makes a great stick save. He has down low covered, but his movement is severely limited. So in this case, he's got to reach out and make that stick save, Harry. Oh man, Coley, that's great stuff. That'll do it. The game has ended and the score, five to two. And now, brought to you by Dodge, it's our post-game report. Dodge, grab life. The Nordiques finish with a three-goal victory tonight. Not much of a match here, but we got a chance to see some nice goals. How do you look at tonight's game from a statistical point of view? Well, Bob, we talk about the use of the body, and these guys used it well, and they used it off. I mean, I think the other guys just wore down, and that's why the scoreboard had them winning big. presentation here on the 2K Sports Network.